a noob. For a noob, I picked End of the Road by Boys to Men, and here's why. He would probably really get it in the neck from the judges for doing another ballad after last week when he uh, saved himself by doing something that really brought out the finer qualities of his voice. But End of the Road is a song he could definitely handle because it's, it's slow, it's very melodic, it would help him bring out the soulfulness without all the jumping around and the distractions of something like a Bobby Brown song, which I'm sure he enjoys doing, but after the huge mistake he made with Beat It, he needs to redeem himself big time. And I think with the voting public, this would help him too. End of the Road is a very popular song, and one I think he could do very well with uh, the skill set that he has. Matt Sherode. This is probably going to be a controversial choice for a lot of people, so I think, what are you thinking? But for him, I picked Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. Now, you probably don't think he could handle it, and it's not really what you call a piano-based song, but he's got the soulfulness down pat. I really think he could handle Marvin, and not a lot of people can handle a Marvin Gaye song. So I would say... Let's get it on, and if that one wasn't available, mercy, mercy me, because uh, he's got the chops for it. And to combine that with piano, I would love to hear him do that. Allison Irahita, Nowhere to Run by Martha the Vandellas. There are certain songs that Martha and the Vandellas did that really can help enhance the uh, skills that a good lead singer has, and Allison has an incredibly mature voice for a 16-year-old. And Martha the Vandellas, Nowhere to Run or Heat Wave would be two songs that she could definitely handle. But Nowhere to Run would be the one I would pick because not a lot of people select that one. And it's still somewhat recognizable because the one thing that, that you don't want to do is, even though Motown has a fantastic catalog, to pick a song that's way too obscure for people. So they're like they're looking at the screens going, that's Motown? Well, who who did that? I've never heard that song before. And why would you pick that? But Nowhere to Run would be a song I think that people would be familiar with without running into that problem. Chris Allen. For Chris, I picked Ain't Too Proud to Bang. I think he could handle The Temptations and, uh, let's see, who was the lead singer on that? I believe the lead singer on Ain't Too Proud was David Ruffin. And he's got the kind of chops that can handle that. The, the swagger and the, the ballsiness, I don't know if he could pull that part off, but the melody line and the way the song was originally delivered, he could duplicate that with no problem. Scotty McIntyre. <laughs> Little note here. I had to sit and think for about 15 minutes when I made up this list as to who I was forgetting. I mean, I got the first nine people easy, all going all the way down the line. I got to Chris, counted the list out a couple of times, and thought, there's only nine people here. I am missing somebody. 15 minutes it took me to finally realize it was Scott. So either I'm developing Alzheimer's, or Scott, I think Paula had a point. You are not connecting with people the way that you think you are. Because, I mean, you're the first officially handicapped contestant on American Idol. And it took me 15 minutes to remember your name and what you did. Wow, that does not bode well at all. In fact, uh, the only thing that will save you from going home is a really remarkable performance. So for Scott, I picked Hello by Lionel Richie. Piano song, love song, it's a ballad, it's slow, it's very tender, it will help get the lady's attention in the same way that Lady would for uh, Michael Sarver. But more than that, Scott plays the piano really well. In fact, he's right up there with Matt Giroud in that respect. Those are my fantasy song camp picks, and I'll just go down the list one more time so that you can write them down if you need to. And check these out online, listen to the clips. If you agree, or even if you disagree, post in the comments and let me know. 
So once again, one more time, for Danny Gokey, reach out and I'll be there by the Four Tops. For Little Rounds, Don't Leave Me This Way by Thelma Houston. For Adam Lambert, Ooh Baby Baby, I'm Crying by Smokey Robinson and the Miracles. For Megan Joy, either My Guy by Mary Wells or Dancing in the Streets by Martha and the Vandellas. For Michael Sarver, I'm Easy by the Commodores or Lady by Kenny Rogers and Lionel Richie, well the cover was. For Anoop Desai, End of the Road by Boys to Men. For Matt Giraud, Let's Get It On by Marvin Gaye. For Allison Irahita, Nowhere to Run by Martha and the Vandellas. For Chris Allen, Ain't Too Proud to Beg by The Temptations. And for Scott McIntyre, Hello Once Again by one of Motown's biggest heavy hitters, Lionel Richie. And that's the first installment of the AI Fantasy Song Camp. Here's hoping that these kids know how to pick some really good songs if they don't pick from these, and of course, if these are even available in the catalog. Um, one quick note. I happened to mention in the last clip, by mistake, that they were postponing the show by one week. Don't! I don't know. I guess you should not tape when you're tired. Lesson learned there. I believe... The show actually takes place next week, but a day later. In other words, usually performance night is Tuesday, results is Wednesday. I think they moved it a day for the president's speech so that it's performance night on Wednesday, results on Thursday. But my advice to you would be to check your local listings and make sure you've got the times and the dates correct because sometimes the uh, schedules on the DVRs are wrong too if you're scheduling to tape. So I'll have to check that on my DVR as well. But that's it for the first installment of Fantasy Camp. I will be coming at you again next week after the performance on Wednesday night. So until then, take care and have a good one.